Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. I have so many things to share with you today that I was thinking, how should I start? Basically, uh, it has been wonderful days. days for me personally to meditate and to um, reflect on many topics and the many things that were coming up, not just in my own life, but also what I've seen and witnessed um, happening with other people and in other places. And uh, what comes to me as the most fascinating and striking moment that you can have right now is give yourself the permission to give the first step. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you want to get. I don't know what's your goal. I don't know if you if you have something already in mind and you want to try to figure it out how things are going to happen, just do it. Take the first step. Go in the direction of what you feel already inside of you that that's the best thing to do. And the best thing to do is not with your brain, it's with your heart. What your heart is calling you to? Is it to go somewhere else? Is to visit some uh, uh, someone that you already know? Is it to try a new hobby? Is it to start a new job? Is it to embark uh, in a new career? Y you, you name it. You name it. Y you know inside of you what is in store already that is calling you to go in that direction. So you don't have to have all things sorted out in your mind because the mind plays those games all the time. It's not about the thoughts that you might be having on this, but it's about the feeling and when you see that urge inside of you to go in that direction, just do it. Do it with your highest intent, with your um, joy, with your presence, and things will come along. All the components that will help you to go in the direction and to make it evolve, it will happen naturally. It will be what it will be. So give yourself permission to start again if necessary or to go into new heights in what you are already doing or that you already started. It's like a new phase. We are reaching this turning point to do things that we have never imagined, to be thinking of things that we have never thought of, to start to feel in a much deeper level than ever before. So how about just flowing with this and having true faith in whatever you are going to do that is extraordinary, that is calling you to? I feel so excited right now by just uh, talking to you about this because I know this is in store. This is in store. And don't get deviated by the stories that might be happening around that seems confusing. They are confusing, we know that. We are living in this world of contrast. There's a lot of contrast, but it's not about the contrast. It's not about just looking at a portal and uh, the pillars in the portal and just looking at each of them. It's not about that. Just go and cross that freaking door. <laughs> when you cross the freaking door, you will see that it's all about, oh, okay. So I should encompass everything that, I'm, that I've been thinking, that I've been doing and come to my heart space and it will naturally bring me to this place of full acceptance for whatever is coming up. And when you accept everything for what it is, the goods and the bads, everything gets so freaking easy. It gets easy. I'm not saying that the new paths and new roads that we're gonna take, they are not um, with their own challenges, that they will not have their own challenges. Yes, they, there will be, but it's okay, it's part of life. So we know that we went through a lot, but we are here, we evolved. We were able to cross those lines. And if we were able to cross those lines, why would we ever think that we would not be as humanity, as society, whatever name you want to call like this amazing uh, compound of beings, that we would not be able to cross those lines in a higher state? 
in new ways. It's not because it was painful once that you say, oh, now, you know, it won't be possible, or I'm not gonna do it, or whatever, no. Hell no. <laughs> Just keep that tap on your back. Remember yourself how successful you were all these days for everything that you have done, for all the challenges that you were there and you overcome with you overcame with so much presence and now you can realize oh okay I went through all this it was challenging yes but I made it right so why we wouldn't be able to do the exact same thing with new new things that may come up it doesn't make any sense this is part of what means to be evolving constantly Comfort zone is an illusion. <laughs> it will never happen, it will never exist because everything is moving all the freaking time. <laughs> you see, I'm challenging myself every day with new stuff. Like even recording this video, I had no clue on what I was going to record today. And I was just like, okay, I was meditating and I've been meditating on many things. And I was like, what would be the most important thing to be sharing with people today and the true faith came in through synchronicities of course there's a new order for things to be happening and this new order has been created because our faith is stronger in our own capabilities in our presence if you just go to your heart, you know that you are capable of things that you could never imagine. And if you are able to do that, why would you ever think that other people around you are not capable of also transposing their own personal challenges? So when you trust in yourself, it's easier for you to trust other people. It's much easier because you say, okay, I'm capable of doing this. So why not? Other people are also able to do the exact same thing for themselves and also in their personal interests and their projects and their companies and their uh, goals and their aspirations. You see? So maybe trust is something that we can regain by just reconnecting ourselves to our heart space a full acceptance to say, okay, I have a lot of things that I want to do, I have a lot of uh, dreams, I have my capabilities in the pursuit of those dreams, I have my emotions, sometimes I'm in my highest states and sometimes I, I may feel other states and that's fine. It's totally okay. So why bother when another person is having a day that he or she is irritated? Why would you take their irritation with you? It doesn't make sense. If you just realize, okay, I see that this person is having a tough day and uh, I know that it's not always easy and I know that they are going through something, why should I engage with their irritation and then end up being irritated and leaving the situation or the place with that irritation with me. It doesn't make sense. So if you realize that you can be this person that just enters into a, in a room or in an environment, and you can, can, can completely shift the energy of that place, of that space, of those interactions that are happening, that might not necessarily be the the, the most um, comfortable ones or the most uh, you know like easy to deal with or the most relaxing you just enter and you just accept for what it is by knowing what is happening as you observe what's happening what's going on and you really anchor within your own heart of how you prefer to be living that experience and if you are so confident in this inner guidance that you receive at all the times 
when you are in those situations, you know exactly what to say, you know exactly what to do, you know exactly how to navigate that experience, being a source of inspiration for other people, being the one that is anchored enough in your heart to um, encompass and accept and hear all the people involved, get all perspectives that are coming up, know exactly which words to use, know exactly which, which um, direction, better direction that can have for people involved in that situation. So there's so much to explore in a good way, in a good way inside ourselves by regaining this um, greater perception of what's happening. Regardless if it's stormy or not, say, okay, it's a storm. Can I stop a storm? No, I can't. The storm will continue to to be for the time that it takes for it to exist. I said, okay, but it will pass. So why should I be so stressed out because that the storm is there? Like it is meant to be short-lived, and it is past, and it passes. Sorry, it passes, and then you realize, oh, okay, so it was necessary. Sometimes the storms are necessary for you to regain your own confidence in your own ability to move forward in life, to make the shifts that you need, to love yourself more. And in loving yourself more, you have more to offer to others. You have more to offer to um, maybe your work, your family, your friends your neighbors, your community. So this is like the Phoenix time that we can have by just not being misled by the contrast. The contrast exists, it has always existed in this planet. Since the world is world, we see people talking about crisis. How many times have you seen crisis? Like there are crises, but our lives are crises all the time? Of course not. They are for brief periods of time. They make a strong effect uh, in our uh, way of perceiving things. And it's temporary because afterwards we can always see that same situation through new lens, with a complete new perception, with a complete different um, understanding of what happened. So how about that? How about that accepting everything for what it was, for what it is, mm -hmm. and for what we will be? Even though you don't have all the information consciously of how things are going to work. Or if you don't have all the details of what had happened. But sooner than later, if you just go inside of you, and you go with your inner guidance, with your intuition, with your heart, then it feels so much easier to say, okay, now I got why I went through all this. Okay, how it supports me in my future. And then suddenly things start to make sense. But it makes sense as you walk, not when you stop. It makes sense as you make your own personal movements. And each and every day is a new opportunity. Each and every day is a new thing that uh, can spark within you. That can uh, lead you to new insights, into um, new actions, new approach to things. So why not? Why not embrace everything in the right now? So I hope you have a wonderful week. I have no idea what you're going through. I have no idea what you might have experienced in your past. But you know what? I'm sure 100% that in the presence of your presence, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. I'm good. I feel happy for you. I feel happy for me. I feel happy for everyone who is doing their inner work with what they have, with what they 
think about life and I know that everybody is giving their max while they find even more resources to do even more it's a, a wonderful way of putting it and uh, yeah so enjoy your day enjoy your week enjoy your experience of life and see you take good care and bye bye